Yeah, it's a little stank going on right now. Dirty boosh. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Welcome back to Kilo One. And hopefully you join these videos because we're doing a lot of suppressed stuff here. And I'm really enjoying it, but we need more donations because 300 Blackout is not fucking cheap. Come on, a couple bucks, a couple bucks, please, beg you. Or if you can't donate, just subscribe and, and just share the crap out of this. It's not hard. We want more people to watch this. That way more people get hooked on this crack of a hobby. If this is a crack of a hobby, me and John are hooked, like hooked, hooked. There's no rehabilitation for us. But anyways, we got a uh, Hunter Biden on this. Uh, you like that? Stop it. Get some help. Without the crack? Okay. Anyways, so we are out here shooting 300 blackout. This is on my s -er -er right here. It's a 5-inch 300 blackout, uh, CMG upper, arrow lower, CMG 4-inch rail, B5 system Bravo stock, a Romeo 5 with a Unity mount. We, have, we just have a standard Olight, and then this guy right here. Let me put that in here. Lo -ho -ho -ho. This is the rugged Razor 762. It is full auto, actually not full auto. This guy is belt fed rated. So you could boop, 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 boop. <laughs> really quick. So there's no barrel restrictions. 300 blackout, any type of 30 caliber round. I think only up to 300 or yeah, 300 wind mag or 300 rum mag. It is not modular, it has a taper mount. Basically screw it on and then you screw the bottom portion in and it'll lock it in place so it don't get loose. A pretty good locking system. As you can tell, we don't have, we barely have enough real estate. So I just made it. This thing functions pretty well. We also have a Slovenia arm flared magwell on here. Let's go ahead and shoot this. We're gonna shoot this full powered rounds. Yeah, full powered rounds and we'll shoot some subsonic. You guys tell us how you like it. And if you build something like this, if you want me to go through the build, the whole complete build on how I built this, what parts, Comment down below and we could do a video on that. But let's go ahead and get shooting on here because my ass is sweaty, it's so hot today. My 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 heritage would be disappointed because we'd be riding camels in hotter degree weather than this. Thank you. Look at that. Don't laugh. If you laugh, you're racist. John started giggling. <laughs> Alright, full power loads. Yes, indeed. I think these are Fioki 150, 150 grain. 150. We're gonna shoot. I think like five or six rounds in here. Yeah, we need more bullets. Okay. So we'll shoot steel first. Empty. John, was that pretty loud? No. Hearing safe? Yes. Hearing safe. Uh, it takes the bite off, and I would say definitely hearing safe. Those are full power loads. Let's go ahead and load this up with, we got some Freedom Munitions, Hush. Freedom Munitions, if you're listening to us, please sponsor us. We would love for you to sponsor us, especially if we're an Idaho channel, you guys are from Idaho, it'll be perfect marriage. Don't worry, I, I, I will put in baby. You're gay! You're, he's gay! Freedom, I will put in, I will hop Puck to it. for some ammo. So we'll load up some hushy hush. Uh, these are 220 grain fumges. Oh, no, I'm kidding, not FMJs, they're hollow points. So we're gonna shoot a couple of these rounds, couple at the steel, couple on the ground. Let us know how quiet it is. All right, let's go ahead and do this. John, what do you say about that one? Nice. Very nice. Very quiet? Very nice. Ve hell yeah. So, 300 Blackout, guys, is epitome of what to build if you want to go really quiet, boy. SOCOM has been using it. I know they've, they've been using like the MCX Rattler type of uh, firearm. They've been using 300 Blackout. That's kind of why 300 Blackout. It was called 300 Whisper when it was designed and then it went to 300 Blackout. I'm pretty sure it got acquired by Hornady if I'm not mistaken and that's why they changed it to 300 Blackout or it was acquired by AAC which uh, any one of them. You guys let me know comment down below if you guys know. SOCOM basically wanted it's not just SOCOM it's just uh, uh, special operations soft units wanted something for CQB that's quiet they could suppress really well. So they blew up let me go ahead and get this in comparison. 556 five, round, 300 blackout round. 
is shortened and is blown out. That's what she said. <laughs> like the hooker's vagina, right? So they it blown out to uh, accept the 30 caliber bullet. Shoots uh, go slower. I think these are 150 grains. They're still going. They're going about 1,900 feet per second. And then you have the subsonics, the 200 grainers. And these are going. I forgot what it was like 1050. Definitely under the the snap, basically. Of the, of the round so you don't have that that pop that's what that is short history lesson for you guys uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and have johnny thong shoot this all right these are gonna be the hushes Alright, these are gonna be the hushes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think about the build? You like it? Nice, yeah. compact. Compact. I don't care for your color choices. But, you know, <laughs> hey, man. I'm not a five-year-old. So, you know. uh, yeah, I wanted something different, something that matches up and goes kind of together, which it does. Yeah. So as you can tell, John, when you're shooting, um, the, this is not really optimized for 300 blackout. The the mags are aren't, and you could tell. Yeah, see? It just tilts up. Look at that. So guys, yeah, you could use 5.56 five, mags for sure, but it's not really optimized and you'll, what will you'll, happen is the rounds will tilt down. So it'll have a hard time stripping and that's what, what we saw earlier. That looked like I went home. That's free. I I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Too bad it's so fucking expensive to shoot, huh? Mm -hmm. What is it, like 70, 80 cents a round? Fucking for this shit. Still on the cheaper realm of things because fucking they go way up to a dollar. Still tightly on there. So good job with that taper mount there, freaking rugged. So um, rugged makes excellent stuff. They have a no bullshit warranty. So no BS warranty. They will replace it if you fucking damage it. Uh, there's like, if you go on Reddit, you'll see people freaking destroying it and then rugged replacing them. So rugged, good job, man. Good job making decent cans. Got awesome freaking warranty on your product and standing be behind what you guys make. Rugged, if you ever want to send stuff to us, we would love it. Absolutely love it. And we'll give you an honest review. Like always, uh, we're not shills and we're not sell out. We don't, we don't sell it to anybody. We want actual reviews for you guys. So you guys could make an informed decision before purchasing something, because guess what? Everything is really expensive right now because of Biden, that piece of shit. Come on, man. I want to make, I want to help you decide on what can, what gun to buy before you buy it. So you're not wasting your hard earned money because everything is fucking expensive. This build. Absolutely. I think this build cost me probably all in all, probably about 1300, 1400. I think it is. So definitely cheaper than the Honey Badger, but cycles really well, functions really well if you have proper magazines for it. So would I recommend the Razor? Absolutely. Are there better cans out there? Absolutely, there are better cans out there. But I got this on sale for, I think it was around like 550. So you can't beat that. I mean, it is a 30 cal can. Like I said, belt fed rated. Not many cans that are belt fed rated. There's a lot of cans that are like full auto rated, which means that you can shoot like 15 or 20 rounds consistently and then you have to wait 15 or 20 seconds or some bullshit like that. Each one has a different rule. So full auto rated doesn't mean a whole lot. Go ahead and, and like, subscribe. Share the shit out of this. Tell us down below how much you love us or hate us. If you dislike us, tell us why. Um, donate if you can. Guys, we're user funded. We're putting all our money into this. So please like, subscribe, share the crap out of this. If you can't donate, just subscribe. Um, but we'll see you guys on the next one. Freedom on.